Graphic tablets with displays are excellent for artists seeking precision and efficiency while working. However, often we encounter prohibitive prices that hinder access to these devices. It is in this scenario that Veek emerges as a revolutionary alternative. Veek not only offers affordable graphic tablets but also maintains high quality professional standards. They sent me the VK1200 V2 model to test, draw, and share with you, and that's why I'm here today. Let's go to the video. Let's open the box, open in here. And inside the box, right away, it comes a glove. This glove is used to prevent friction between the skin of the hand and the glass of the screen. This helps us to slide the hand more easily and smoothly as we slide. It also comes with a cloth to clean the little screen, clean the glass or other equipment here that comes. There's the wrapped up tablets that I will open last. It also comes with the pen stand for you to let stand there by your side. It also comes with a stand for tips, with additional tips. There are three different connection cables. There's one which is HDMI, there's another which is USB, and the other USB-C. You can choose the best one for your workspace. A little bag containing 20 tips. It's a large stock, I believe it will last for years and years. This little metal thing that comes with it is a tip remover, so you can safely remove the tip from the pen. There's also a reminder to install the device driver with the link information. And it says that any other different tablet driver, it should be installed. We also have a guide step-by-step -step installation, a user manual. We also have two pens. And these two pens comes with two buttons on it, and you can configure the buttons. And finally, we have the graphic tablet. The tablet, we can see six customizable shortcut buttons. We can assign shortcuts to them. We have also two input connections, the USB-C and this other connection. We have also brightness control and beneath the power button. I will use the USB-C cable for connection because among these three kinds of cable, this is the one with the fastest connection. I'm going to plug the cable into the computer firstly and then on the tablet. The connection has already been established. I can already see the extended monitors here. After connecting, we need to install the drivers. The link is available in that reminder that I mentioned earlier. And after installed, we should choose which screen will be the project area. In my case, we have the monitor, the laptop, or the proper tablet. I will choose the tablet, of course, to draw on the tablet. There we go. And then we need to click on Calibrate. After choosing the projection screen and having clicked on Calibrate, the choosing screen displays points or crosses in specific locations. And you need to position and touch the pen in these areas as indicated on the graphic tablet. This allows the drawing tablet to accurately map the pen's position in relation to the screen. After doing this, the tablet is ready to be used. The tablet is quite versatile. It works practically in all devices and drawing apps, such as Photoshop, GIMP, Krita, and many others. I'll be using Illustrator. I've got a sketch here of an artistic representation that I made of the Virgo sign. I will vectorize it while I'll talk about the tablet. The tablet is 11.6 inches with a workspace of 25.6 by 14.4 centimeters, making it compact yet providing enough space for the tiled movements. In other words, it's a tablet that maintains a compact aspect, making it ideal for those with limited workspace. Simultaneously, it's a size that provides enough room for broad and detailed movements, allowing us to express our creativity without feeling constrained. Whether you are working on detailed illustration, elaborate sketches, or simply seeking freedom of movement, this size offers the necessary versatility. It strikes a perfect balance between functionality and practically, ensuring that the device seamlessly integrates into your workspace and creative endeavors. Now let's talk about the performance. 
It's worth starting by emphasizing that in the digital creation realm, the power of the computer serves as the conductor orchestrating the entire symphony of performance. A robust PC equipped with graphic processing capability and a generous amount of RAM acts as the central pillar that supports the entire creative experience. The computer's ability to handle complex data and intensive graphics is what allows the graphic tablet to work to its full potential. And its full potential is a report rate of 290 cpps and a resolution of 5080 LPI, offering precise capture of details. The PPS value of 290 means the tablet can capture and transmit information to the computer 290 times per second, ensuring quick response to movements. 5080 lines per inch is a measure indicating the density of lines that a graphic tablet or a similar device can capture in one square inch of its surface area. In simpler terms, the higher the LPI number, the greater the resolution and the device's ability to display and capture fine details. It's worth noting that the performance of a Illustrator may require significant computing power, regardless of the quality of the graphic tablet. During my usage, especially in situations where the computer reached higher temperatures, I observed some delays in the software's response. It's crucial to emphasize that Illustrator is known for its graphic demands, and in poorly ventilated environments, the rising temperature can impact the overall system efficiency. These delays may affect the interaction with the graphic tablet. To address this situation, consider optimizing Illustrator settings, ensuring your computer operates in a well-ventilated environment, or choose another drawing app. Vector-based application used to be heavier in terms of computational demands compared to bitmap-based applications. The tablet also features a reading height configuration of 10 mm. This refers to the sensor's reading height of the digital pen concerning the surface of the graphic tablet. This measurement indicates the maximum distance between the pen tip, the point of contact, and the tablet surface, where the pen can still interact and be detected by the device. In the specific case of 10 mm, it means that the pen can be lifted up to 10 mm above the surface of the graphic tablet and still be read, recognized by the system. This feature provides a certain freedom of movements when drawing or writing, allowing the users to lift and move the pen without losing interaction with the graphic tablet or accidentally modifying the stroke. One of the things that I really like about this device is the six shortcut keys. There are six physical buttons built into the tablet itself, and two on the pen, all of which can be programmed to perform specific functions quickly and conveniently. These shortcut keys provide direct access to frequently used commands, making your creation process faster. You can program and customize these keys according to your preference and specific workflows. For example, the keys can be assigned to functions such as tool selection, keyboard shortcuts, zoom in and out, or any other relevant function for the software or application you're using. In my case, I assign shortcut keys for direct selection to, selection to, brush, undo, redo, and zoom. As for the pen buttons, I choose the right click for more options and the space bar to activate the pen to, allowing me to navigate through the art by dragging the pen while pressing the button. While VAX buttons offer a convenient solution, the presence of my keyboard remains essential to trigger other customized shortcuts that I consider fundamental in my creative process. My experience was a solid 10 out of 10. I couldn't find any drawbacks that compromised the tablet's performance. The only thing worth mentioning is that, as an Illustrator user, depending on the number of the elements on the screen, there might be a slight delay, but this is a common occurrence with any similar device that uses Adobe Illustrator. In conclusion, this device seamlessly adapts to any creative process, whether you are a beginner or a professional. If you are considering a purchase, I really recommend it. The links are available in the video description and I will even provide you with a 5% discount using my coupon, which you can find there as well. They ship worldwide and offer a 24-month warranty. That's two years. These are my thoughts on the Vic VK1200 V2. Remember, every artist has their preference and the real magic is in your own hands. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share.
If you've watched this far, give the video a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It means a lot to me as I aim to consistently contribute to the artistic community. Now enjoy the speed art of this artwork that I created using the amazing drawing tablet VicVK1200 V2.